All right, so welcome to this. Um, the first thing we're going to do is to go over to our character tab. By the way, I'm going to leave this scene in the description so you can download and follow along in this tutorial. So for you to do your rigging process, the first thing you're going to do is to go over to your character menu. And these are the things we're going to be using. So we're going to all only look at two or three tools here yeah, for this tutorial. I want to try and make it as short as possible. So if you click on these dots at the head here, yeah, it's undocks this so we can have this here yeah, and work. So for us to start adding the bone and joint. Now, basically, for you to get a joint, you'll be working with bone. So when you have, where, sorry, when you, for you to get a bone, you'll be working with joint. So wherever you have joint, when you have two joints, there will be a bone connecting them together. So for us to create this hierarchy, we would have to go over to this joint too for us to add this bone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my front view. Just F4 um, will take me to the front view. So I'm going to go to this joint tool. As soon as I click on the joint tool, the bone or the joint gets added to this place. So I'm going to bring this joint tool up. <clears throat> I'm going to bring it up and this will be like the color bone. So I could just rename this color bone. All right, so for after having the color bone, the next thing is for me to have it, um, the shoulder bone. So I'm just going to click control and drag. So instead of me clicking this every time and bringing it down, and so I could just control drag this down for me to have a copy of this. So I'm going to call this the shoulder bone. So I'm going to be renaming this later on. So I'm going to bring the shoulder bone to where the shoulder is going to be. But right now I have these two bones. I don't really see, I have these two joints rather, but I don't really see bone. Now, the reason why I don't see the bone is because these joints have to be parented to the other one for it to have the bone. So what I'm going to do is take this shoulder bone, make it a child of the collar bone, then I'm going to see this um, hierarchy. So you have the bone, this joint being connected to these other joints to create the bone. So that's how we're going to go through for the whole process. So this is meant to be my elbow. So I'm going to control drag this and let go for me to have this elbow. So I'm going to bring this to the elbow area. And also, you know what to do for me to have the bone. I have to bring these joints as a child of that for me to have the bone. So that's how I'm going to go through the whole process and for me to continue that. So I'll bring this to the wrist, then bring one more and bring this to the hand. So we have this. So this becomes the hand tip. This becomes the wrist. While this is the elbow. Okay, so if you look at this now, this is my front view. If, I'm sure, if I should go to the top view, which is F2, you notice that these are not in line. Can you see that? So what happens now is that if I come to this joint, select this joint, notice that I'm not able to select. So what I can do is to use my joint tool, not this, the joint tool to select hierarchies or joints. So I can, now this joint tool is universal. I can use it to create joints and also to modify joints and move joints. So if I click on this joint tool, I can use it to pick a joint and move the joints. You can already see that. So for you to move a particular joint, you will be making use of the joint tool here. So I'll bring this over to this place. So I we'll have this movement, this joint being flowing this way. So I can make this straight this way. Now also, if you notice that this hand, if I go back to my front view, you notice that here, normally I'm supposed to have a joint here for the whole fingers, but I'm trying to create a one limb character, for instance. But if I want to like create a process whereby this affects, there should be a joint affecting the whole of this, then I can just add one joint here. So for me to add joint without coming here, all I need to do is hold down shift key with my joint tool. So if I hold down shift key and I click anywhere on the bone, I'm going to be having a joint. Then the hierarchy is preserved. So I can bring this here, then I have this process so that by the time I'm animating and 
bending some joints, then this affects the other one. So I hope that is self-explanatory. So let's see this. So we have the hand movable. So sorry about my terminology. So we have that. So now that we have these joints, if I come to this last one, this color board, and I go to rotate, I rotate this. Notice it rotates everything. But now, this is not affecting my hand. <clears throat> so how I can do that? Sorry about that. How I can do that for me to affect this hand is I need to bind these bones. <clears throat> Sorry. I need to bind these bones to my um, to my mesh. So what I can do is for me to bring these bones, this collar bone, make it a child of this mesh. <clears throat> After making it a child, I want to select everything. Select from here, hold down shift to the mesh. So once I have this selected, the next thing I'm going to do is to come over to my bind. So once I come over to the bind and I click on the bind, it's going to bind, create a skin um, object for me. And I'm going to have this um, stuff, I'm going to have this weight tag added to the mesh. So what it means now is that if I come to this bone and I rotate, it should affect my character. I can see that. If I come over to this other joint, which is the elbow, and I rotate the elbow, notice that this is not affecting this. So what is there that I'm missing? So if you come over to this joint, notice that, let me delete this. Now this is affecting it. Now the reason why we're having that issue is because we have two weights, um, uh, weight tag on this and one of them don't have those ones so i need to get rid of the other one but when you try that you only have one so just make sure you click on the weight tag and make sure that all your bones are all your joints rather are in this joint so that sets that so the next thing is if i go out to my um perspective view i want to create a I want to create a controller such that moving this risk will kind of move the elbow. This is called an IK um, setup. So basically, we have two types of setup. We have IK and we have FK, um, FK setup. So the FK is actually used for a situation where you have you want to be able to have control over each of the joints. All right, but for the IK is called the inverse kinematic. The FK is forward kinematic. So the inverse kinematic is you having a controller you, at a particular position, which controls a bone, and the bone movement will affect the other bone that are in the same hierarchy. So basically, if you look at this, I have this shoulder joint, I have an elbow, and I have the wrist. Now, moving the wrist is meant to like move this um, elbow. So instead of me moving the wrist, I'm moving the elbow individually. I can create a setup which will make me bring a controller to my wrist. That moving this wrist will automatically move the elbow. So the kind of a setup is called inverse kinematic. So how we can do that is we have to add the tag on this joint that want to move. So we know we have three joints that want to move. We want to move this and this. So these are the chain hierarchy that we want. So the toppermost hierarchy, we are going to add an IK tag to this shoulder. The, I hope you understand that we are going to add an IK tag to this shoulder. So we come to the shoulder, go to select the shoulder, go to tags. Once you go to tag, you go to character. Um, so you go to the rigging tag. So in the previous version, you are going to have character tag, but now you have rigging tag in R21. So once you go to Regan tag, you are going to see IK. So if you click on IK, the IK tag is added to the shoulder. Now it's asking for the end joint. So this is the beginning joint. So we need to fix in the end joint that we want to have in this hierarchy. So we know that we want the end joint to be the wrist. So we bring the wrist and add it to the end. So that create that hierarchy. So the next thing we want to do is now to create a goal. The goal is like a controller that <clears throat> moves this thing. So we want our goal to be at this joint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a null object, bring this null object as a child of this um, risk. Then I'm going to zero out the coordinates so that 
it jumps to this arcing and also the rotation then once i'm done with that i can bring that back out so this is the risk this risk so we'll go to the object change it to whatever object we want it to be so let's assume we want it to be sphere and make this fair any of this so we can either scale this up or down so the reason why i'm doing this is so that i'll be able to click on this and use it to move so we'll go to the basic give it a color so white color is fine so what we want to do is go to this ik tag now the goal i'm going to bring this as that so this becomes the controller Go controller now look at this go controller now that we've added this into this chain manually so what we can do now is we go to move to and we select this go controller then move this go controller notice that it's affecting the elbow so as I'm moving this is affecting the elbow so I can also rotate this go controller so so you notice that moving this um controller affects this elbow so we've been able to successfully create that chain between the shoulder elbow and the wrist so that's how you said that but now another thing is that you can also create another controller that move the elbow independently and so i'm going to control z to bring this back to the initial position so what i'm going to do is create another null object bring this up so we want this to be at the back of this elbow so we can call this now the tag calls this um, a pole so we go to the ik tag you also see that you have a pole here add a pole so instead of me clicking this automatically i want to set up my own pole so this becomes the pole controller so i'm um, the same thing i'm going to go to the object change this to whatever object I want it to be so let's say I want this to be diamond and this then reduce this scale give it a particular color so maybe this is going to be this yellow color so this becomes the pole so we'll come back to this IK chain drag this into the pole object now you can already see this um, pink color so what this means is that if I come to this goal and I move the go. I can use this pole to move the elbow so you can see that so that is the basic setup for the hand rigging so if you want to create your hand you want to create a rigging for your hand hand this is the proper way of doing that now not that you cannot use a very short out method of doing that but I like having control over this and knowing how I'm setting up the whole thing that's why I'm taking you through this process of manual rigging where you can create your bone you can as well as just use this bone to start creating the bones and automate everything but i think if you have this knowledge you would understand how this thing works so in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to use this to do the whole thing automatically and everything will go then setting your goals and your goal automatically so i think this ends this tutorial if this was helpful please give me a like and also a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe it helps my channel and thank you to have a wonderful day and god bless you bye